Venturing into the realms of the extraordinary, we explore some of the world's strangest trees. These botanical wonders, sculpted by nature's capricious hand, challenge the conventional perception of what a tree can look like. The journey begins with a tale of dragons. Number 1. The Dragon Blood Tree, Socotra. The island of Socotra, nestled off the coast of Yemen, is a place like no other, with a third of its plant life found nowhere else on Earth. A true botanical haven, Socotra is most notably home to the dragon blood tree, Dracaena cinnabari, a marvel of nature that effortlessly stands out among the island's diverse flora. This unusual tree features a dense canopy of foliage perched atop a single, often umbrella-shaped trunk, resembling an outstretched mushroom or an upside-down broom. This distinctive shape serves a dual purpose. Firstly, it allows the tree to capture and funnel mist and dew down to its roots, an essential survival strategy in Socotra's arid climate. Secondly, the dense shade provided by the foliage aids in the conservation of soil moisture and provides a cool respite for other plants and animals under its vast umbrella. What truly sets the dragon blood tree apart, however, is its strange and striking lifeblood. The tree gets its name from its crimson red sap, which oozes like dragon's blood when the trunk or branches are cut. This viscous, bright red resin has been prized since ancient times for its supposed medicinal properties, and it's used in everything from dyes and varnishes to healing ointments and potions. The tree's evolutionary journey to its present form spans over millions of years. It is an example of the island's long isolation and the adaptive measures taken by its flora to survive the harsh environmental conditions. However, the dragon blood tree is now facing numerous threats, including overgrazing and climate change, that endanger its survival. Conservation efforts are underway to protect this unusual tree and the unique ecosystem it belongs to. Despite its formidable name and daunting appearance, the dragon blood tree symbolizes the resilience and adaptability of nature. It stands as a testament to the strange and wonderful diversity of life on Earth, reminding us that sometimes the most extraordinary things are born out of the harshest conditions. Number 2. Quiver Tree Namibia Stretching into the radiant blue skies of Namibia, the quiver tree, Aloidendron dichotomum, is a striking embodiment of life's resilience in the unforgiving desert. Also known as Cokerboom, this species is actually not a tree but a type of aloe, standing tall with a smooth trunk that branches out into a constellation of succulent silver-green leaves. The quiver tree's name originates from the indigenous sand people's innovative use of its branches. Hollowed out, the branches made excellent quivers for storing arrows, evidencing the beautiful symbiosis between humans and their natural environment. However, the tree's uses extend beyond weaponry. Its fibrous bark, rich in moisture, offers a critical water source in the arid landscape. Growing up to nine meters tall, the quiver tree adorns itself with brilliant yellow flowers in winter, offering a stark contrast against the barren, frosty desert. It's during these flowering periods that the tree becomes a hive of activity, attracting birds, insects, and small mammals, and providing a lifeline in a place where sustenance is scarce. Number three, Silver Sword. Hawaii. Among the rocky volcanic landscapes of Hawaii, the Haleakala Silver Sword, Argyroxyphium sandwicens subspur macrocephalum, stands as an iridescent beacon of resilience. This rare plant, which resembles something from a sci fi movie, is found only on the upper slopes of Haleakala, a massive shield volcano on the island of Maui. The Silver Sword earns its name from its long, sword like leaves, which are covered in tiny silver hairs. These hairs reflect sunlight and help to preserve moisture, allowing the plant to survive in the harsh, dry conditions of its high-altitude home. The silver sword has a peculiar life cycle. It grows slowly for years, even decades, forming a base of rosette leaves. When it's ready to reproduce, usually after 15 to 50 years of growth, it shoots up a tall, flowering stalk, adorned with hundreds of maroon, sunflower-like blooms. After this grand display, the silver sword dies, leaving behind seeds for the next generation. A victim of over-harvesting in the 20th century due to its unique appearance, the Silver Sword is a testimony to successful conservation efforts. It serves as a symbol of the delicate balance of nature and the tenacity of life in extreme environments. Number 4. Baobab, Madagascar 
Scattered across the arid landscapes of Madagascar, the baobab tree, Adansonia grandidieri, rises in majesty and peculiarity. With its thick bottle-like trunk and sparse spindly branches, the baobab appears as though it's been planted upside down, hence its nickname, the upside down tree. Baobabs are among the oldest living things on earth, with some specimens estimated to be over 1,000 years old. These trees can reach up to 30 meters in height and store massive amounts of water within their swollen trunks to endure the harsh, dry seasons. They serve as essential resources for both humans and animals, who consume their fruit and rely on the tree's water storage in times of drought. The baobab is steeped in lore and legends. Many indigenous cultures regard these trees as sacred, believing them to be the abodes of spirits and ancestral beings. Amid modern threats like climate change and habitat encroachment, there's a growing recognition of the urgent need to preserve these ancient sentinels of the savanna. Number 5. Rainbow Eucalyptus, Philippines In the tropical rainforests of the Philippines, the rainbow eucalyptus, Eucalyptus deglupta, provides a dazzling display of natural artistry. This unique tree is most renowned for its multicolored bark, which sheds in patches at different times, revealing a bright green layer beneath. Over time, this green fades into a spectrum of blue, purple, orange, and maroon tones, creating a captivating kaleidoscope of colors on the tree's trunk. Standing up to 75 meters tall, the rainbow eucalyptus is the only eucalyptus species with a natural range that extends into the northern hemisphere. It's an essential part of its ecosystem, playing a critical role in nutrient cycling and habitat creation. Beyond its visual appeal, the tree has practical uses. Its pulpwood is used in papermaking, while the tree itself aids in soil stabilization and erosion control. However, its rapid growth and high water consumption can lead to environmental issues when planted outside its native range. The rainbow eucalyptus serves as a vivid reminder of the planet's biological diversity and the importance of preserving unique species and ecosystems in the face of rapid environmental change. Number 6. Socotra fig tree, Socotra archipelago. Sharing its unique island home with the dragon blood tree, the Socotra fig tree, Dorstenia gigas, presents an equally distinctive profile. This peculiar species, endemic to Socotra, Yemen, seems less like a tree and more like a massive green cauliflower or a giant rose pressed onto a squat, thick trunk. Its distinctive appearance is the result of its succulent nature, developed to survive Socotra's arid climate. The broad, round, leafy top works in concert with the stout trunk, which stores water for the dry periods. The tree's roots spread wide, covering a large surface area to absorb as much water as possible during the scarce rains. The Socotra fig tree produces a unique fruiting body that appears as a convoluted mass of red and green flesh. These strange flowers are a marvel of botanical adaptation and attract a variety of pollinators, contributing to the island's complex and delicate ecosystem. Number 7. Banyan Tree, India In the tropical landscapes of India, the banyan tree, Ficus bengalensis, asserts its presence with grandeur and grace. Its vast size and unique aerial prop roots set it apart. These roots descend from the branches, piercing the earth to become new trunks, leading to a single tree appearing as a small forest. Banyan trees play a significant role in India's culture and mythology. They are often seen as sacred, with temples and marketplaces constructed beneath their wide canopy, which provides shelter and relief from the tropical sun. The banyan is known as the Kalpavriksha, or the wish-fulfilling tree in Indian mythology, symbolizing eternal life due to its seemingly unending expansion. This tree supports a wide variety of life forms, including birds, bats, and monkeys, making it a critical component of its ecosystem. The intertwining roots and branches of the banyan tree serve as a metaphor for the interconnectivity of life. It stands as a monument of nature, symbolizing strength, longevity, and resilience. Number 8. Cannonball Tree, South America From the lush rainforests of South America comes the striking cannonball tree, Curupita guianensis, a tree that truly lives up to its name. It produces spherical fruits that resemble rusty cannonballs, hanging in clusters on long stalks that grow directly from its thick trunk. These fruits give off an unpleasant smell when they fall and crack open, discouraging most animals from consuming them. But it's not all deterrent. 
The cannonball tree boasts beautiful, intricate flowers that emit a fragrant, sweet aroma. These flowers bloom directly on the trunk and have a complex structure that includes hood-like petals and a long, fleshy tongue. They're a favorite among bees, hummingbirds, and bats, which assist in their pollination. The tree holds a special place in the spiritual and medicinal practices of indigenous cultures. Despite the unpalatable nature of its fruit, various parts of the cannonball tree are used in traditional medicine to treat a range of ailments, from skin conditions to malaria. Number 9. Jabuticaba, Brazil In stark contrast to traditional tree forms, the Jabuticaba, Plinia cauliflora of Brazil, grows its fruits directly on its trunk. This curious adaptation, known as cauliflori, allows animals that can't climb or fly to participate in seed dispersal, promoting biodiversity. The Jabuticaba, often referred to as the Brazilian grape tree, produces small, dark fruits that resemble grapes. These fruits are sweet and tart, enjoyed fresh, or used in jellies, wines, and liqueurs. The tree blooms several times a year, and the fallen fruit ferments on the ground, emitting a fermented smell that contributes to a unique forest floor ecosystem. The Jabuticaba embodies the incredible adaptability of nature, showcasing a unique method of reproduction that ensures its survival and the survival of the ecosystem it inhabits. It's a testimony to the wonders of the natural world and the myriad ways life finds to perpetuate itself. Number 10. Bujum Tree, Mexico The Bujum Tree, Fuquiria columnaris, native to the deserts of Baja, California in Mexico, looks more like a thing of fantasy than a real-life plant. This unusual tree features a single tapered column that can reach up to 20 meters high, sporadically adorned with short, twiggy branches that give it an otherworldly appearance, like a gigantic upside-down carrot or a sketch from a Dr. Seuss book. Adapted to survive in extreme desert conditions, the Bujum stores water in its trunk, while its small leaves reduce water loss due to evaporation. The tree is deciduous, shedding its leaves in dry periods and blooming with small yellow flowers after rare desert rains. Named after Lewis Carroll's poem, The Hunting of the Snark, the Bujum tree stands as a remarkable testament to life's ability to adapt and thrive in the harshest of environments, illustrating the power and resilience of nature in its rawest form. Number 11. Antarctic Beech Tree, Australia In the cool, moist valleys of eastern Australia, Ancient Antarctic beech trees, Nothophagus mori, stand as living fossils, offering a glimpse into the prehistoric past. These trees, with their gnarled trunks and mossy bark, are remnants of the ancient supercontinent Gondwana, dating back at least 100 million years. The Antarctic beech tree can reach up to 25 meters in height, often forming multiple trunks, creating an enchanting cathedral-like structure under their canopy. In autumn, their leaves turn deep red, casting a beautiful, eerie glow over the forest floor. Each tree is a microhabitat in itself, supporting a variety of other life forms, including mosses, ferns, fungi, insects, and birds. Some even carry epiphytic plants, plants growing on other plants, fostering a unique interdependent ecosystem within the larger forest context. The Antarctic beech tree reminds us of the Earth's long, intricate history and the intricate connections within nature. Its survival is a testament to the persistence of life through vast geological epochs and changing climates. Number 12. Buddha's Hand, Asia The Buddha's Hand, Citrus medica var sarcodactylus, is an intriguing specimen that hails from Asia. Unlike the traditional round, pulpy fruits we associate with citrus, the Buddha's Hand instead bears elongated, finger-like segments radiating from a central base, resembling a hand in a Buddhist gesture. Despite its unusual form, the Buddha's hand is a fully functional fruit. It lacks the juicy pulp of its citrus relatives, but boasts a strong lemon fragrance in its rind, making it an ideal natural air freshener. The fruit is often used for its zest in cooking and baking, or infused into spirits or vinegars. In many Asian cultures, the Buddha's hand is a symbol of happiness, longevity, and good fortune. It's commonly given as an offering at Buddhist temples and used as a decorative element during traditional festivals and New Year celebrations. Number 13. Joshua Tree, Southwest United States Joshua trees, Yucca brevifolia, dominate the desert landscapes of the southwestern United States with their unique twisted forms. 
Named by Mormon settlers after the biblical figure Joshua, the tree's outstretched branches were seen as a metaphor for Joshua's uplifting arms in prayer. These trees, which can live for hundreds of years, are adapted to their harsh, arid environments. Their deep and extensive root systems can reach up to 36 feet horizontally to absorb as much moisture as possible, and their thick, waxy leaves reduce water loss. Joshua trees form a crucial part of their desert ecosystem. They provide food and habitat for a variety of organisms, including the yucca moth, which is the tree's sole pollinator in a symbiotic relationship spanning millions of years. The persistence and resilience of the Joshua tree in a challenging environment symbolize the inherent adaptability of life. Number 14. Saguaro Cactus, Sonoran Desert the Sonoran Desert's landscape is iconic, characterized by the towering figures of the saguaro cactus, Carnegia gigantea. Growing up to 40 feet high and able to live for over 200 years, these giants are the largest cacti in the United States, an unmistakable symbol of the American Southwest. Saguaros are slow-growing but are adept at storing water, which is absorbed through their shallow root systems and stored in their thick, waxy stems. This water storage allows them to endure the harsh desert conditions, blooming with white flowers in late spring and producing a bright red fruit in summer. These cacti are not solitary in the desert. They support a rich variety of life. Birds like the Gila woodpecker and the purple martin carve nests into the cactus's flesh, and its fruit provides food for many desert creatures. The saguaro's life, death, and decay continue to nourish the ecosystem, demonstrating the interconnectedness of desert life. Number 15. Kapok Tree, South America The Kapok Tree, Saba pentandra, native to South America, is an undeniable giant of the rainforest, reaching heights of up to 200 feet. Its large buttress roots support its massive structure and help the tree gather nutrients from the forest floor. The tree's most distinctive feature is its seed pods, which contain a fluffy, cotton-like substance known as kapok. This light and water-resistant material have been used in mattresses, pillows, and life jackets, though synthetic materials mostly replace it today. Beyond its utility to humans, the kapok tree is an essential part of the rainforest ecosystem. Its large flowers provide nectar for bats and bees, and its vast canopy offers shelter to numerous rainforest creatures. The kapok tree is a symbol of the rich biodiversity of the tropical rainforest and the delicate balance of life within it. Number 16. Pando Tree, Utah In Utah's Fish Lake National Forest, the pando tree, Populus tremuloides, contradicts conventional understandings of what constitutes a single organism. Pando, Latin for I spread, is not just a tree but a vast colony of individual quaking aspen trees, all connected by a single massive root system. Covering 106 acres and estimated to weigh collectively over 6,000 metric tons, Pando is considered one of the most massive and oldest living organisms on Earth. Some estimates put its age at over 80,000 years, making it a living witness to much of human history. Despite each tree appearing as a separate entity, they're genetically identical clones, sprouting from that extensive root system. Pando's resilience and longevity demonstrate the remarkable adaptability of life, challenging our perception of individuality in the biological world. Number 17. Wallamy Pine, Australia The Wallamy Pine, Wallamia nobilis, is often referred to as a living fossil, as it represents a plant lineage over 200 million years old. Thought to be extinct and only known through fossil records, a small population was discovered in 1994 in the Wallamy National Park, Australia. Despite being a pine, it doesn't fit typical images of conifers. The Wallamy pine has dark, knobbly bark that resembles bubbling chocolate and bear's cones on both male and female trees. This tree can grow up to 40 meters high and has a unique characteristic of coppicing, or growing multiple trunks. The rediscovery of the Wallamy pine has been a significant event in botanical history, a symbol of hope and resilience. It underscores the importance of conservation efforts to protect the world's plant biodiversity, as many more undiscovered or thought to be lost species may still be waiting in the hidden corners of our world. Number 18. Monkey Puzzle Tree, Chile and Argentina Deep in the temperate forests of Chile and Argentina, a peculiar and enigmatic tree captures the imagination, the monkey puzzle tree, Araucaria araucana. 
Known for its distinct appearance, this ancient and iconic species has a history dating back millions of years. The monkey puzzle tree stands tall and proud, with a dense, pyramid-like shape that can reach heights of up to 50 meters. Its branches are covered in sharp, spiky leaves that spiral around the trunk, creating a puzzle-like pattern. This unique feature led to its name, as it was once said that even monkeys would be puzzled trying to climb it. Considered a living fossil, the monkey puzzle tree has remained virtually unchanged for over 200 million years, making it one of the oldest tree species on the planet. It has witnessed the rise and fall of countless species and the shifting of continents throughout Earth's history. This remarkable tree plays a vital ecological role, providing habitat and sustenance for numerous species. Its large cones contain edible seeds that are a valuable food source for wildlife, including birds and mammals. The monkey puzzle tree's longevity and adaptability have allowed it to thrive in the diverse ecosystems of the Andean region. Despite its ancient lineage, the monkey puzzle tree faces challenges to its survival. Illegal logging, habitat fragmentation, and climate change pose significant threats to its population. Conservation efforts are crucial to protect and restore the remaining forests where this remarkable species resides. Beyond its ecological significance, the monkey puzzle tree holds cultural importance. Indigenous Mapuche communities revere the tree, considering it sacred and incorporating it into their spiritual practices. Its wood is highly valued for its durability and beauty, used in construction, furniture, and decorative arts. Number 19. Methuselah, California Deep within the rugged landscapes of California's White Mountains resides a living legend known as Methuselah. Standing as a symbol of endurance and resilience, Methuselah is a bristlecone pine, Pinus longiva, that has defied the passage of time for over 4,800 years, making it one of the oldest known living trees on Earth. Methuselah's exact location remains a closely guarded secret, protected by the U.S. Forest Service to ensure its preservation. In the company of its fellow ancient bristlecone pines, Methuselah thrives in the harsh conditions of the high-altitude, arid environment where strong winds, extreme temperatures, and nutrient-poor soil prevail. The tree owes its incredible longevity to its slow growth rate and unique adaptations. Bristlecone pines have dense, resinous wood that is resistant to insects, fungi, and rot, enabling them to withstand centuries of exposure to the elements. The species also has an exceptional ability to repair damaged tissue, allowing it to heal wounds caused by lightning strikes or harsh weather. Discovered in 1957 by dendrochronologist Edmund Schulman, Methuselah's age was determined through careful analysis of its growth rings. Each ring represents a year of the tree's life and holds valuable information about past climate conditions, providing scientists with insights into environmental changes over millennia. Methuselah's existence serves as a humbling reminder of the ever-changing nature of our world. It has borne witness to countless historical events, including the rise and fall of civilizations, the passing of empires, and the transformation of the natural world. Its presence stands as a testament to the resilience and adaptability of life itself.